So although I just bought this King Ranch, uh, there's a couple things that I noticed after owning it that need to be fixed. Um, right now, it needs hood struts because the hood won't stay up. Trade line said they're going to fix that. No problem. I did notice that I have a radiator, upper radiator coolant hose leak. And it seems to be dripping. Uh, read on the forums about it. And some guys have just had luck replacing the O-ring. Sometimes the plastics can be cracked. Uh, I looked at mine. I really didn't see any cracking. So I ended up going to O'Reilly's. Uh, shout out to whoever put it on the F-250 uh, forums. And I bought this uh, box, uh, part number 926159. So pretty much what it is, it's just radiator um, O-rings. So somebody on the forum said that they had luck uh, with their repair doing that. And I said, well, I'm going to give it a shot. So first things first. Grab some cardboard, shove it underneath the uh, the truck. The upper radiator hose is right here on the driver's side. Um, mine's already leaking coolant, so I don't think much is going to come out when I pull it off. But just in case, you know, coolant tends to be a little sticky. Uh, pain in the ass to clean, so I decided to put some cardboard down. So, pop your hood. <clears throat> pop your hood oh i need to get a nice piece of wood all right here is the beast there's our piece of wood um so currently she is stock um and when i say stock it means it is emission compliant it still has the emissions uh, eventually I do plan on doing an EGR delete and tune. Um, I had proven, uh, tunes on my last one. I think this time around, I'm going to go with amped. That's what everyone keeps saying to go with. <clears throat> I had good luck with proven, but apparently proven has ate up some people's transmissions. So anyways, here's the upper radiator hose. Um, I mean, from what I read, it's pretty simple. Just got to pull this pin out, and this pulls out, and then the O-ring is going to be in here. Uh, so let's go over and get us some tools. We are going to need some picks. Let's see this. And we are going to need some needle nose channel locks. All right. Now let's go see what... What goes on here? I don't know. Let me try and find the good angle. All right. So it did take me a little bit to get that uh, that angle for you guys. But here is the pin. And that came out pretty easy. So there's your pin you're going to pull out. And then I guess you're going to pull this out. Wow, that came out really easy, guys. Uh, super simple. Um, so, yeah, I mean, plastics look to be in good shape. And if you see that O-ring... is very flat so let's pop this sucker out that is extremely flat I mean you can see just by looking at it so, here is our box of O-rings. I'm going to set you guys down while I try to... So, it got it has multiple sizes, isn't it? 
I'm gonna try to size it up and then I'll pick you guys back up. All right, I think we have found a match. What do you think? I think that's pretty close. All right, I do too. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand as I uh, <coughs> hold on to the phone so you guys can still see what I'm doing. And that's pretty much all it takes is pretty simple. All right. So let's put her back and see what we got. So there's a little tab actually right here, and that tab kind of guides you in. Then you gotta shove it in. There you go. That's all the way in. So <clears throat> when you put it back in, you can kind of feel you can kind of feel that lock into place. I'll tug just to make sure that it ain't gonna pop loose. Nope, that's on there. All right, so then lastly, what we're gonna do is top off our coolant because mine was low. And I do have a jug back there. So I'm gonna set you down while I crawl in the truck to get it. So, this was I was told, recommended for the diesels. It's the orange coolant. All right, I don't want to make a mess. So, I'm going to set you guys down while I pour it in and top it off. All right. So, we're right at our max fill line. Let's uh, start her up and see what we got. You look at that. No more leaking. Wow. So, first repair in the books. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I can continue to make good content. I mean, this literally took not even five minutes. It's just me more running my big mouth. <laughs> than it took to repair so hopefully this helps you guys uh it's super easy uh like i said the part number is 926-159 it was 40 dollars at o'reilly's uh <clears throat> the radiator hose i think oem is like 200 bucks uh but if it's not cracked you don't need it you don't need a new hose uh, you just get you a uh, O-ring kit and you'll be good to go.